Hey everybody, it is Baby Boo. So this is probably going to be the hardest and most difficult video I will ever make on this channel. Um, so as you know by the title, you know, kind of gives a little something, but like it's a little hard to talk about. Um, so I'm going to start by the beginning. Um, eight years ago, I met this really, really nice guy, and we hit it off, you know, we got together, we were young, I was 18, he was 18, um, we loved each other so much like loved each other a lot and we were together for a really long long time and basically things happen and they happen for a reason um so we were together for eight years i'm not bashing him in any way i still care about him as a friend but there comes a time in life where when someone does something wrong it just you know i don't i don't know how to explain it but it's just not right it's really hard to talk about right now like i don't i don't know where to start um so that was like it was my first relationship like really really long relationship i've been in one previous and like a few others previously but they weren't as long and i didn't care like we didn't care about each other like the way i cared about him so beginning of our relationship you know you get the puppy dog phase you know you love each other so much you want to spend a lot of time together and you're still learning to get to know that person and we did that we would have a lot of fun and just you know hang out I mean I did spend a lot of time with him in the beginning um even my friends noticed but at that time my getting out of high school those friends didn't really want to get to know him and I, it kind of irked me, you know, in the beginning, but I kind of just focused my attention on him. And then, you know, years went on, you know, we got so comfortable with each other and it got to a point where I lost all my friends and I'm not happy to say that because there was really not anything wrong with my friends it was more of him not wanting my friends around because I don't know if it was because he just wanted me to himself or he just really didn't genuinely like them but I now being away from this person I fully see that there was really nothing wrong with my friends and it bothers me that I let someone emotionally hurt me to the point that I didn't have anyone else. I only had him. And for eight years, I was just with him. And emotionally and mentally, I was being abused. And it was hard for me to realize that at the time because I didn't have anyone. I had him and that was the only thing I had and he would tell me like if I didn't do something certain he would say I'll break up with you I fucking hate you like really really vulgar things and I didn't understand I didn't understand what I was doing wrong and it hurt me so bad because I didn't know I just didn't know what I was doing wrong and then <laughs> I 
Then he would hit me. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why anyone would do that. I didn't, I don't understand. If you love and care about someone, why would you do that? Why? And I let it happen. I don't know why I let it happen. And I knew it was happening. But I, I let it happen and I think once I moved down here I realized what what I believe I realized how much he was hurting me and not just physically but mentally and emotionally and I'm not, I just, I just want this to come across that I know he wasn't a bad person. He just gradually just became someone that I didn't fall in love with. And I'm still dealing with it. I mean... I came down here to Florida. I didn't have any friends. No one knew that I moved down here. And I met some amazing people and they showed me that people can care about me. And it was hard for me to transition from like eight years of not having anyone but him to having all these people. Like I'm literally overwhelmed by everyone down here and it's such an amazing feeling and I love everyone all my friends everyone I've met down here and I noticed recently I've been thinking about what happened in the past it's just something that I didn't really talk about because it's not something you can talk about or want to talk about because you're afraid of hurting that other person still. Like, even though that person hurt me, I don't want to end up hurting them. And I'm not, and I know this person will probably watch this. And I'm sorry. It's just something I have to talk about. And I know you'll probably tell everyone you didn't do it. But I know exactly what happened between our relationship. And it hurts me to even say it. But... It's affecting me and it's still affecting me. I didn't notice how bad it was until I moved down here, until I noticed our time apart. And I just want peace between us. I know I don't talk to you as much. Um, I just wish you the best in life. And I'm, I'm happy and it still hurts that what happened you know i'm never probably gonna get over that and i just want to reach out to everyone if you're going through something like this don't be afraid to talk about it i mean it took me almost a year now to actually talk about it with you guys um if you go if you are going through the same thing don't be afraid to reach out to me if you want to talk about it or if you've been through something like this please message me i would love to talk to someone about this because i'm still dealing with it and i'm sorry if this isn't a happy video like i usually do this is Probably the most vulnerable you'll ever see me on this channel, but I 
just I just really needed to talk about it and it's just life life goes on and I think this is when I'm gonna end the video because um I don't know what else to say but all my things are down below I'm gonna try and add some like phone numbers and stuff for like if you need to talk to people about abuse or mental abuse physical abuse any type of abuse if you're in a relationship I'll try to find numbers and I'll put them in the description bar below but I hope you guys are doing well and I love you guys so much and I will talk to you guys later bye